Hello and welcome to part 27 of the Great Pentagon chat. Well, just the Pentagon chat, sorry. It's been a good while since I last uploaded. Um, I finally managed to get the team back into the uh, Champions League groups. And uh, my first game is against Sanju of South Korea. They uh, won the K League last year via the playoffs. We've also got Gamba and Tianjin in our group. But. Um, I just didn't want to bother uh, keeping you updated with the league since uh, it's pretty much a formality by now. Um, let's just take a look. There it is as follows. We're 10 points clear with just 5 games of the regular season to go. And I think we are very much in command there. Um, you just want to take a look at our results very briefly. Uh, we've only lost twice this season and they were rather sloppy defeats. but. What can you do? We've been very good since the actual final back in November. Um, it, it was unfortunate that <laughs> we lost it by four goals to two, but very much so. Plenty of goals, very few conceded. I'm genuinely pleased with that. So uh, there have been plenty of standout talents this season, like Ben Halloran, Alex Nielsen, Robbie Brady, uh, Jackson Irvine, Nick Feely, etc. But now this is where it all matters, and uh, as I've gotten the new subscribers in, I'm very pleased that uh, you know that all happened for you. But uh, let's just take a look at my uh, squad for a second. There it is. I'm going to be playing those starting eleven. Um, so of course, for the subscribers who made it before my shout out from a uh, total team talk, Rick Malloy, then uh, you're not forgotten. But I'm just try I've got 20 subscribers in now. That's very very good, and I just hope that your enjoyment to this video isn't spoiled by the uh, beta release of Football Manager 2013, because I'm nowhere near done with this game. But one thing's for certain: if I do not make the final, I'll instantly resign as coach of Gold Coast and move on to another continent, since uh, it's going to be too late to really make a difference. I really should have moved on a while ago but I do want to win the Champions League with Gold Coast. Um, but the thing is with Sangju they do not have any players of their own. They've purely got loan deals in and I just hope they've no actual team chemistry in and this is a massive game. Last season against the uh, Pong Steelers I was winning and then my game crashed so uh, fingers crossed that the 2D will be reliable. Um, there's certainly plenty to talk about uh, for my new subscribers now. For the guy who uh, found my very first San Marino video, I apologize for the poor quality, but I'm hoping you're watching now because I am much, much further into my gameplay than I was back in June. But here we go, it's an early kickoff. Ben Halloran, who's gotten a raise for his good performances. Uh, he is starting today. Very, very good young talent. He's emerged superbly. And now is Robbie Brady to Peter Junkslager. Robbie Brady, good effort. Now, just to explain, the plan is I'm not going to live com all six games unless you want me to. If you are enjoying the videos and you want to see more live coms, then let me know. But my plan is to live com this game and then the game that. I'm either going to get through the groups if I win it or get a draw or if I'm facing elimination I'll, I'll record that game. But, uh, my next plan if I manage to hit something like 50 subscribers I'll make a Facebook page dedicated to my Football Manager series. How many I may have I don't know but uh, Football Manager 2013, I will be getting it as soon as possible, but I'm not currently interested in the uh, beta release as Alex Nielsen gets a Champions League goal to save her. What a shot from the boy, the young Swede. Absolutely smashed that one home. And as you can see, there are some goals being scored. Uh, Melbourne Victor winning their game as well. That's what I love to see. Oh, Mitchell heads it backwards. Shannon Cole for Thwaite, maybe no. And the counter-attack can be initiated by Shang Zhu. Scambo Saka taking the lead as well. Oh, that is terrible defending. 1-1. Very, very poor. 
and that could cost us dearly in the future but we know how to beat Gambo Saka we beat them 5-2 or something like that in the past but uh, the thing is it depends when my last episode of being a Gold Coast manager is I'll do a little uh, little description showing all the, my favourite moments both good and bad from this save and put them into time codes for you to watch so it's better than editing a video uh, full of uh, you know clips because I delete all the clips because perhaps it takes up too much memory so I think that'll be working better we're getting dominated here actually gonna switch to a counter attack yeah they're definitely dominating for a team made up fully of loaned in players they are pretty good it would never work in a European context you always have to employ your own players and Ben Halloran Jogslager who has his Australian citizenship he is now fully eligible to play as the Australian you know he can take up an Australian position as opposed to a Dutch position but yeah as I do have new subscribers I am wary that you do need a little context because um, last season I was runner-up in the Champions League after a thrilling game with Al Garafa, whom you can see up here. There they are, next to Alain. Oh, Brady, you should have scored. Come on, boy. You're better than that. Um, so, here we go. Now we're starting to develop our rhythm. The Gold Coast support. Our fervor down. Oh, another miss by Ben Halloran this time. Oh, God. It's not going to be one of these days, is it? And here come Sangju. Sangju all the way. That's a good save, though, by Nick Feely. Um, as for FIFA Ultimate Team, I'm still not building gold um, squads yet. But I have got some interesting ones. And one that is in progress. Now, they're looking up and goal for Halloran if he could get him through. But now Sangju regained their shape. And here's Halloran getting fouled. Um, as for that FIFA video, I will upload it as soon as I get one key player for one of my bronze squads. He's very expensive though. Um, if you can guess who he is, I would give you a nice prize if I could, but whatever. Um, but now it's all about Football Manager. And it's a corner for Gold Coast United. Latest scores are just up there. That's a terrible corner. Guangzhou equalized against Melbourne victory and Shen calls declared offside. A draw in this game would not be nice to lose points at home. It's going to be difficult. Can never overestimate the influence of an away game, even though we are getting used to it. This is our second consecutive Champions League campaign, and it will be my last. Like, no matter what, I'm going to leave Gold Coast because I've done as much as I possibly can with them. Um, that's half time and of course for the sake of the series I really do need to move on and at least savour the or sample a new team before I play Football Manager 13 uh, so we can still come out with a win yeah not great team talk uh, so yeah I'm excited for my channel's future it's uh, poor defence at the minute but I am certainly excited because um, that was a very nice shout out I got um, but it's kind of up to me to help you out because this is a story and if you're just joining in at the latest chapter then it's not as good as the people who are there uh, for slightly longer but it's a great piece of play no oh, that is gorgeous gorgeous football and Alex Nielsen who has probably been hot and cold in the A-League has buried it for a brace we're back on top on goals four. Now Shannon Cole looks for an unmarked Toby Brady. Brady could find Nielsen or Halloran. Oh, that was a good effort. Irvine, maybe Halloran back to Irvine, back to Halloran, back to Junslager. Deflection. Wilkinson was wide on the right, and Thway assists his colleague with the smart tackle. That's what I love to see. This is why I want this team to go home with Champions League winners medals. 
they really are a unit they love playing with each other for each other and they love playing for me after the few shaky years I suffered oh and James Brown over the bar good effort from that a, from a splendid uh, central attacking mid who I've had since the very beginning of the game he really has stood up and taken notice this year and that's Nielsen for a hat trick Brady misses as well oh good effort now we're heading into the Armac. This is all about the Gold Coast. This is very, very impressive stuff. A much improved second half. And a superb passing move. Fumbled by the keeper and out for a throw. Do I need to make any changes? Yes, Wilkinson is tired. Get him off the field. Uh, for Maroney. Maroney got a little injury in the last, uh, in this last second last game. And he had to miss... Uh, for the most part this game uh, Jungslager has definitely done well in Matt Mackay's absence because he was sent off in the final uh, I think I'll keep him on Chan Cole he's getting exhausted again that's no good is it um, I suppose Mitchell hasn't had it good but um, I'm settled with this uh, yeah I'll just keep it one sub for now don't wreck it don't wreck it lad now yeah, that's resume. It's a chance. No. Irvine to Shannon Cole and Brady. Back to Halloran, perhaps. No. Mitchell is very high up the pitch. That is that is a bit risky now. That's 2 0 for Gamba, so that'll put them on top. Antlers are 1 1. Uh, Al Garafa winning 1 0. Oh no, a chance! Wide! Wide of the mark. Unlucky. Okay, now let's make our final two changes. Uh, Nielsen can stay. Sean Cole again, he's a bit. Uh, no left back, I rested Chayore. Uh, I suppose get Moy on for Junkslager. Um, stress. Yeah, we just need to do that. There's no sweat for taking Nielsen off. Uh, but still 2 1, it's very shaky. Uh, that's taken by the goalkeeper. Zhang, Yang Dong Wan. Here's So Jung Jin. Good ball to Hung Song. And now In Han. In Han is in the box, but he's put it wide. That was pretty uh, lackluster composure. If I may say so. Uh, latest scores again. Gamba 3 0 up to Chan Jin. I think they're our Chinese uh, opponents. There's a Brady corner, and Michael Quay, our elusive captain, puts that one wide. Oh, here's Gamba, or excuse me, uh, Shang Zhu. We must have got promoted from the second division because they're not in FIFA 13 or anything. Which only does the uh, top division of South Korea. That was why we're going defensive now. Uh, but it would be great for Brady to bury that. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. My colleague. My player. Four, four minutes gone in the 80. Uh, Nielsen collects with, you know, brute strength. Brute but fair. Brown. Oh, Nielsen. Oh, he's there! Three goals! Yes! Well done. That is 3 1. And Alex Nielsen scores his very first hat trick for the club. Great job from the Swede. I got him on an absolute bargain. He's not even a marquee player. And that should be full time. No, there's going to be one more piece of action. Oh, good effort. So that is a comfortable win. We love playing at Steels Park even though our A-League form has been pretty shaky. And that will certainly be a good way to bring back the Pentagon Challenge to my channel. Everyone's very pleased with themselves. Alex Nielsen, yeah, a little legend. Um, so there's not really that much else to discuss. We are the champions in waiting. Uh, the grand final, I'll certainly live com that. You can, uh, unless, like, the thing is, I have to get to it first, so. Uh, but the main thing is, we get the uh, Champions League automatic qualification uh, secured.
which we will get by winning the league and all will be great from there but the plan is for the sake of uh, waiting I'll try and get to this game here the Gamba game at home as soon as possible if something extraordinary happens I'll live calm uh, this game here the away one but again it's it's your choice I want feedback that's why I got a shout out um, I just don't get comments or likes or dislikes or anything but uh, that's why I want my new subscribers and current ones to give me a bit of a boost make me make more videos and make them in what you want not just what I want so thank you very much for watching keep up the good work and goodbye for now